We call it the dolce far niente. It means uh, the sweetness of doing nothing. The must. feel like a newborn baby today because I slept super long trying to recover from what actually happened yesterday. If you don't know, watch my most recent video. It still feels like a fucking nightmare, but at least we had a really cool day in Zurich. So we are just not going to talk about it anymore and I'm trying to blend it out. Anyways, today is the day between packing for my moving day Packing for um, a little short trip to Italy with my friends tomorrow and I'm so much looking forward to it because the weather in Germany is just, it's acting so weird. Summer is just not summering like every 10 minutes it rains like crazy and it feels like the world is, it's, it feels like an apocalypse. Also it's so cold, I feel like it's already autumn or something. So can't wait for some warmer temperatures. I still need to pack everything, I haven't packed anything yet. And I'm about to bake a cake because we have blackberries in our garden and we picked them yesterday and now we have this huge bowl of blackberries and we need to do something with them because elsewise they will go bad. And it's the perfect opportunity to have a cake for tomorrow. We'll also do some jam out of it, I guess. That's the plan for today. And I forgot, currently also editing the vlog from yesterday. I'm kind of proud of myself because I never instantly start editing. I always vlog and then the footage sits on my computer for about a week at least. But yes, trying to change that and already editing yesterday's vlog. Also, I want to quickly show you what I actually found at a flea market. You already see it in some of the clips, but especially what I found at the secondhand store. Um, we went to um, lastly. Not that much, but I'm pretty happy with what I found. Little haul incoming! So this is more or less everything we have doesn't seem like that much but I am so happy with it. I got five of these for about nine euros. I would just say it in the German currency because how do you say Franken in English? I don't know. Uh, and it's more or less the same so. But imagine um, a little matcha or nice coffee in this. I think they're pretty. Then we have this thing in German, it's called Etagere. I can look up the word, but it doesn't matter. And it has this really cute golden detail. I'm in love. What I was thinking with that is using it in the kitchen. Imagine some fruit or vegetable um, here and here and obviously here. I think it's so cute. This piece, these two plates that I'm about to show you and this bowl is from this typically yeah, Swiss secondhand store. It's called Brocki um, and you can find it in not only Zurich but in many other places in Switzerland. You can find some really good steals there. They have everything. They have clothes, furniture, books, essentials or in general like plates and glasses. This one is so cute. Like these two fit together so well and it really gives me mid-century vibes. What I'm also aiming in general as a theme for my apartment and the big plates to the bowl. I'm in love. My last find is a vase. It doesn't seem like very special. It has a really cool texture um, here and here it's just like shiny. But I mean it's Minimalistic. I got this one for three euros. Three fucking euros. So I am really happy uh, with all these things. And then let's start begging. Hello and welcome. Here. Oh my god, shut up. Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Here are the beauties. It's it's a lot. Like you can tell how big this bowl is. So I feel like we can make a lot out of this. We are aiming for some frying today. It's the first time trying this recipe. 
I won't do it exactly the same way because I'm about to do it in some muffin cups. Let's turn on some music so that I don't hear this screaming anymore. Dilio modus links nach rechts. My go-to tip when it comes to baking anything including cinnamon is to add a little bit of chai powder. I don't know but it hits the spot perfectly. Instead of adding a lot of vanilla sugar or any like chai spices like cardamom or all of that stuff, oh, I just love the taste of it. It's important not to overdo it because elsewise it will like overtake the other flavors but just a tiny little bit. It smells and feels like I am cooking like a Christmas cake or Christmas cookies. All of these cinnamon flavors. I feel like it's Christmas. But I mean, even the weather gives me like fall vibes, so. are in the oven as you can see um, it somehow already is 8 p.m. well also by the way since when does the timer tool look so cool on the lock screen I never noticed that anyways I definitely need to start packing my Italy bags now Oh shit, I also need to make myself dinner. I didn't think about that. It's already 8 p.m. It took me so long. Baking the cake and cooking the jam. It was a spontaneous action. And now I spent like three hours doing that. I'm so not motivated to cook something now. So I guess I will just do a quick snack, dinner. I don't know, bread with the vegetables. Anyways. We are going to start at around 8, 8.30 tomorrow, so I only have this evening to pack. We'll only stay in Italy for four and a half, five days, but I'm so much looking forward to it. It will basically be the, I, mean, I don't hope so, but I feel like last real trip in this group, because basically in a few weeks, Every one of us is moving in different cities to like study or just live in another town and, and I think it will be kind of hard to yeah just find a time slot in everyone's calendar <laughs> where we all like have can make time for vacation together so I will really enjoy it and it will be really a quality time vacation. The other thing why I'm looking so much forward to it is the weather. So you will hear from me tomorrow when we start and I need to do like a real quick packing session. Before that I'll eat something.
friend is going to pick me up in about an hour. I'm done with packing all of my stuff. I'm quite proud of my time management because now I actually have time to have a relaxed breakfast. I still need to prep something for lunch, but I'm just gonna keep it simple. Um, I'm excited. I hope I didn't forget anything. I feel like I packed way too much because yesterday night <laughs> I was just like, I threw everything into my um, bag, but it will be fine. I also packed the cake into a box. This will be a little surprise for my friends. And I'm going to have this one for breakfast now. And this is the jam I made. It's actually quite a lot. And also it tastes like Christmas, but it's fine. <laughs> arrived the road leading to this house was so narrow so my biggest props to Leonie who drove us and now we're waiting for the other girls they are picking up the keys room tour <laughs> Thank you. 